Hello, my name is Ed Zelich, Superintendent of the Shelbyville Area School District. It is an honor to serve you and your families in this community, and especially throughout these trying times the last year with the COVID-19 situation that we are currently facing. Since last January, a lot has evolved. Last January, there weren't issues such as virtual learning, wearing masks, and COVID-19 quarantining diagnoses such as that. However, uh, a lot has changed and we had the need to pivot our learning styles and um, we certainly had to evolve and learn as an educational institution. Recently, the CDC provided some guidelines where returning to school can be safe, especially with students returning to school, if there are some mitigating factors in and you put some practices in place to ensure that kids, students are safe. Those efforts, the mitigation efforts, we as a district have applied nearly 40 mitigation efforts in place to help our students and staff while they come back to school and learn in the near future. Um, recently, our transmission rates within the county have uh, still continued to be substantial. However, the, the rates have dropped to 8%. With that being said, in the new uh, Pennsylvania Department of Health and PDE guidelines of returning to school, we have uh, instituted our plan to return in the hybrid model beginning Monday, February 1st. Our hybrid model will be Monday through Thursdays any student that chooses to uh, attend school will be welcome to attend school on campus. If you choose for your child to still attend virtually, they'll have that option also. Fridays will be our virtual learning day. So once again, Monday through Fridays and Monday through Thursdays in school, Fridays online. Um, th there's new guidance from the PA Department of Health and Pennsylvania Department of Education on tracking COVID-19. Our business manager, Joe Gudak, will be with you here shortly to share some of those guidelines with you as far as how we'll communicate that with you, uh, positive cases within our school district. Our school district falls within the five to 500 to 999 student category. Therefore, if I were to simplify for you, uh, the table uh, shares information such as this. If we have between one to three cases within a 14-day rolling, rolling period of positive cases of COVID-19, school will remain open. School will remain open. We'll, put, we'll contact the Department of Health, do contract tracing, contact tracing, and um, do some deep cleaning within the schools, but it will remain open. If we have between four to six positive cases within a 14-day period, we will close schools from anywhere between three to seven days to contact trace, to clean schools, and to assure that we can get students back into school safely. If, unfortunately, we have seven or more cases within a rolling 14-day period, we will need to close school for up to 14 days. Um, the elementary school is considered uh, one faction of when I'm talking about schools. There is a possibility that elementary school would be open and middle high closed or vice versa, but just to share that information with you. We'll be very transparent in our communications with you. They'll be updated daily on our main webpage at www.charleroysd.org and um, we'll continue to communicate with you throughout this process. We are extremely excited to have students back at school. Our team, our administrative team, our, our teachers, our custodians, bus drivers. When we see your children in school come Monday, um, we're, we're extremely excited for that opportunity. With that being said, we have a weather coming in for next week, uh, a certain weather situation. It will not be like in the past this, this winter. If we have a snow day, we will not cancel school. There would be a one-call phone alert system as well as texts and email messages and on the news stations, but we would not close school entirely. We would close school on campus if we had a weather issue. However, we'll remain open virtually. If there is a two-hour delay in that event, we will follow 
our two-hour delay schedule and come to school if it's Monday through Thursday. Once again, if there's a cancellation, we would, we would uh, state something to the effect that in-person learning on campus is closed today. However, virtual learning will remain open. We thank you for your patience throughout this entire uh, period of COVID-19, and it's almost a year now. But we assure you we have everyone's best interest, especially your child's, as we look to move forward. Keep your children safe, but also get them back on track and close that gap with learning. Always feel free to contact us here at the central office or school district email address is easily accessible on our website. And once again, we look forward to meeting your children next Monday. Thank you.